Top three from both semi-final A and B have qualified for tonight's final. Well, someone didn't get a good night's sleep last night. So there's our judges, plenty Number of them. Let's hope for plenty of decent dives for them to uh, score as well. It was Yang who came through top of the pile in semi-final B ahead of Tom Daly. Alexander Bundar as well from Russia did well to squeeze into the final. Literally do mean squeeze. His fellow Russian, Nikita Schlick here. Well, he wasn't too far off doing so as well. Just as tight it was in semi-final A as well. Dominic Bedgood of Australia just missing out. This man it was. Benjamin Offray of France. He did well just to uh, shake off the challenge. First dive of six. The round's coming up. Nice enough start there from Offray. Got off to a solid start. Two, seven, six and a half from the semi final. There or thereabouts, maybe slightly better, perhaps. And this slightly better. Improvement, that's all you can do, really. In the three and a half somersault here for Bondar. Was it one of his better dives, this one? Found himself in sick position after round one in the semis. And he'll do a lot better with that dive. Much better, in fact. Well, that's standard practice for him. So he's shaken off the rust well and truly from the semis. He's a man of the bright future, Matthew Lee. Now move to Stratford. In East London. To be closer with his dive partner, Tom Daly. Good dive. It's a long way from home. But the other British divers that are not competing here today, they're in attendance here. So have to give some encouragement, and that will give him some encouragement as well. It's a good start. Here's Chen. Gold on day one with Chow.
Oh, was that a good dive or what? Lovely rotation, look how vertical he is, nice and clean as well. With the entry, 83-30. The service resumes there with Chen flexing his muscles, early doors. So it's over to Mr Tom Daly, Great Britain's finest. National treasure back home in Great Britain, of course. Looking to collect some treasure here. We have a medal. Will it be silver? Will it be gold? Perhaps. It's a very good opening dive here to set the standard. Great dive. Standard practice, really, from Tom Daly. A little hard work into practice here in the final 88.4 that's good enough to get Yang's attention already standing patiently at the top of the platform fully aware that he needs to be on it any hairline fractures he knows that that could be good enough to hurt him Steps up to the plate with a majestic opening dive. Sheer brilliance from Yang. Let the battle commence. Wow. Well, there's some impressive scores handed out by the judges in Japan last week. And I think this one, judging by the reaction of the crowd, is going to be up there to near perfection. Well, it is near perfection. Nine and a halfs all the way. 96.9. Just look at his face. All business. Not even a smile. Well, the two Brits in the silver and the bronze medal positions. Chen. Well, he won't panic. Plenty of rounds to get through. But what an opening round we've just witnessed. Really expected this to be the blue ribbon event here on the final day, and already things just beginning to simmer beautifully under the surface. Decent enough dive that from off rate. Still room for improvement, no doubt about it. Always plenty of kids in the crowd here. Popularity. In regards to diving in China. Just grows and grows. Well, he certainly took his time with the dive, but he saw the reason why. And he started off in good fashion in round one. I think he's just ticked another box there with that dive. Look at that. Alexander Bondar. Let's not discount him from the conversation here for a medal. All the talk, including myself, has been about Yang Chen and Tom Daly. Well, a seat at the table. He certainly did, Matthew Lee. Third going into round two. Also going with the arm stand. Second dive.
just needed to tidy up the entry. Other than that, it was good enough. Look at the rotation in good time. Let's look at the legs beautifully tucked together. Looks up for it. So here's Chen. With some work to do outside the medal positions after round one. Splendid effort. Class permanent, form temporary. Another way round, perhaps, but nevertheless, Chen. Back in business with that dive. So it was at this stage last weekend where. Things went up a level. Deep breath. Tom Daly now back in action last week. After a long break. He's back to his best already. Oh, he's bought his best there with his second dive. His reputation even in China is huge, and that's a huge effort again from Daly. Look at that, nines all the way for Daly. He'll be around in Japan, and he believes four years after that, at the next Olympics, he'll still be competing. We talk about competing. This man is the competitor supreme. Nine and a halves. With his opening dive. Can he go better here, Yang? And a couple of tens on the board, perhaps. Well, he may have done exactly that. Near perfection of his opening round. Could be looking at perfection in round two. Yeah, where did he start? A fine physical specimen. The aesthetics are there. Nines this time goes up to a total of 189.65. A lot of approval there from Yang and Chen. Well, still outside the medal positions, but I mentioned earlier, Alexander Bondar of Russia so far has stepped up to the plate. So he's in last position. It is a very strong field. Of that there's little doubt. It's a good job really to reach the final. Set the dive up well enough. And that may have been his best dive yet. Smile, you on camera. Good scores there from the judges. That three and a half somersault now for the Russian. Difficulty of 3 6. Standards have been set. Needs to maintain them if he is to be the surprise package at the end of the final round. determined to get a medal here there's no doubt about it continuing to take the battle here to what is a very strong field this evening well, 
264-40. There was only five points between himself and Chen last weekend. Chen, disappointingly somewhat, finished in fourth position. And he showed that was no fluke at all, Bundar. Matthew Lee. Outside bet, but he's going to have to go some here. Get closer to Chen and Bondar. Knows what needs to be done. Can he execute it? <laughs> yeah, that is a very good dive. Good work. Fourth position. Difficult dive. Oh, slick enough. Much splash though, really, from Chen. I'm not sure if that dive is good enough to better what Bondar produced. And that camera angle, he seemed to be vertical enough. Eights all the way. I was looking to impress. In their home legs, of course. Really, as per usual, going for his routines. Seeing him get near perfect scores of this particular dive so many times in his career now. And he set it up beautifully. Here's Jack Law. His work was done yesterday. Tom Daly still at work this evening. And you can see there, really, the water arrived just in time there for Daly. So no nines this time. He's been imperious, Yang. And focused, concentrated. Get to chisel out a nice lead now going into round four. Well, not the best entry we have seen from Yang. All the elements of the dive in, that's important. And we can see that nowhere near what we saw from him in round one and two. So there it is Alexander Bondar of Russia, higher up in the food chain now from third to second. He really is turning up the heat now on Yang. So going into round four, hold on to your hats, buckle up for the ride. Things are about to get very interesting this evening in Beijing. Well, I said he needed to work on his entries. And he's done that. Since uh, enough height from the platform. Easy on the eye with the splash. And he's getting better. And that's a good sign. Nervy start from Benjamin Offray. Finally see him on an excellent diver he is now with his last two rounds.
very difficult dive this now. Forward four and a half somersault. Got the bit between the teeth, this fella. Hey, <laughs> got the elements in. Not a dive that's easy on the eye, that one. Look at those scores there, down on what we've seen from him. It's a very difficult dive, though. We have to see as to whether that dive is good enough to hold on to the silver medal. Still very much work in progress as a diver. His partnership with Daly as well, very much work in progress. Can he bear fruit here, Matthew Lee? Get himself amongst the... Seven, seven and a half, perhaps. And slightly over on the entry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what the judge is for of that one. Shake of the head, and there's the reason why. Always expecting in Beijing to see a Chinese one-two. This man is going to have to go some if that theme is to continue. Oh, a very difficult dive made to look nice and easy there from Chen. Him beautifully. Good score. Is that a smile? <laughs> I think it may have been. Good camaraderie between all of the divers. That's good to see. On the road uh, quite often. Now. Got a battle on for the silver. Halves here, eight. Be good enough maybe to get himself back into that position. <sighs> uh, the entry perhaps is where Daly will be marked down. This half of the dive looked good. the tuck but we can see there not quite as vertical as he would have liked well, we can see that could have huge implications here for Daly well, if he nails this dive if he gets the back to where he was at from rounds one and two he could be running his own race here for the gold showing appreciation for the exploits of Yang. Have another look at the dive. Came out just about in time, didn't he? There it is, nines, nines and eight and a half. 360.3. Here are the standings, round 4-6. Thomas Daly now outside of the medal positions. And just look at that. The crowd have some encouragement. Yang and Chen now as we speak. With one hand each on a gold and a silver medal. Oh, 
he's getting better. Find out the kinks from the early rounds. So, Bondar once again. Good dive. Solid. Not quite as smooth some of his earlier dives. So a total score of 85 there for the Russian. So that's good enough to get himself back into a silver medal maybe, but Matthew Lee Creating good experience on the road, diving at World Series level. <laughs> Again, improvements need to be made on the entry. He knows that. He's got to straighten out slightly more when he gets to the water. We'll have a quick chat with uh, Jane Figueredo. Fantastic coach, you'll guide him. Pass on the words of wisdom, of course. High performance centre coach in London. So here's Chen. Climbing the ladder to success round by round now is Chen. Push the panic button. That's a good effort. <laughs> Mr. Bow. One four. A quick sneaky peek at the next dive here for Tom Daly. Got to put right the wrongs from round four. Been around the block, been on the tour for a long time. Eight and a half, nines here, and he's back on track. That's much more like it. Definitely got his mojo back after that dive. Oh, yeah, that is on the money. He's got his groove back on well and truly. So 409.3. In action on every day so far daily so three tough shifts at the office for him now well, so far China has taken gold in every event we have one two as well on the final day, it may have just been after that dive. It may just be, once again, China taking a gold and a silver. Not quite there just yet.
Now give us an indication as to the scores given out. And they're probably very generous. Well, yes, they are. Highly impressive dive that from Yang. He knows it. And after round five or six going into the final round, just look at that. Nothing to choose between Alexander Bondar and Chen. Daly. Well, he could miss out on a medal this time around. So, final dive here for Benjamin Offray of France. Very difficult dive to finish off with. But he's getting better and better with every round. So his work is done. In the men's 10 metres at least. Just about squeezed in all the elements of the dive. So 447.7. Well, no margin for error whatsoever now. Anything close to the nines. And Chen could be in trouble with regards to winning the silver. Oh, really have been impressed with this man so far. And that is another highly impressive dive. And the judges don't get the advantage of seeing the dive from that camera angle. Now, will that be good enough? to hold on to a silver medal. You can hear the Brits in the crowd. Just going through his routine there, Matthew Lee. A bronze on day one with Tom Daly. We'll see him in action again in the mixed final. Well, Jane Figueredo happy, whistles from her. And her protege does himself justice there with his final dive. It's a decent score racked up from Matthew Lee. Under the 445.8 though from the semi-final. And all in all, it's a job very well done. So, he knows there or thereabouts, what kind of score he needs from the judges. Seven and a half and a seven it was for Alexander Bondar. Anything over that. And the silver medal is his. That could be the dive that secures a Chinese one-two. They believe so, the crowd believes so. Will the judges? And going into the final round, when it's tense, when it's tight, you rise or you fall to the pressure. And I think with that dive, it is the former. Well, he's got a smile, and there is the reason why. Saved his very best dive until last, and look at that. There looks a very satisfied diver, if ever I saw one. Last dive here for Tom Daly. Hasn't quite been at his best in the evening session. Tom Daly, understandable, really. Back to work, back to his day job. Back to back uh, appearances for him, Japan and China, after a long absence from the sport. And you can 
see they're decent enough scores, but we've seen better. Such a fatigue may have kicked in. And this man. Unrelenting, really. Forward, four and a half somersault for Yang. Just needs to dot the I's and cross the T's, and that is that. Once again, from Yang of China. And once again, he's proved to be the yardstick for the rest of the divers. And there you go, there you have it. Nines all the way, 573.6. Handshake. Will we get a smile? I doubt it. But there it is. Confirmation. It is a Chinese one-two. Started out of the block slowly, Chen. It got better and better with every round.